What's going on guys, Luke22SV here and welcome to the third round of Season 3 of this career mode today. Here for the Chinese Grand Prix uh, off the back of another fourth place in Bahrain. Two fourth places to start off this season, although we've thrown away two chances to win this season. And uh, yeah, coming into China, um, it's not really a track we excelled at in the career mode so far. Last season we retired on the first lap and the season before we finished 11th in the Toro Rosso. So uh, coming into China today, um, we need a better result really. Currently Lando Norris leading the championship one point ahead of Valtteri Bottas. We're on 24 points, a little bit further back and uh, Verstappen also struggling down there as well. Hamilton yet to get off the mark as well. So, And uh, neither Alfa Romeo has scored either. So there's all those sort of guys as well that need to start getting their points on the board this uh, race as well as we head into China as well. So. Um, yeah, this could be an interesting race then. Welcome Everyone got points to prove China. and uh, we will, no us as well, trying to get perhaps our first seven. podium of the season when uh, we've thrown away two chances to win uh, so far. So, heading on to our lap though. Our, this is going to be our fastest lap at the moment. We're currently P7, so um, we need to improve a little bit. Uh, the staff and starting on pole at the moment, so that's where the Red Bull car should be, but uh, we just can't seem to get the car hooked up for some reason around qualifying. Uh, around this track so qualifying now complete and we're down in p7 so we need to improve on this lap time and currently we are so we go through sector one we're a little bit up on that previous time running a little bit wide on the hairpin which has cost us a little bit of time though and uh, now going through the rest of the track so that well sector two and uh, now trying to get us uh, gain some more time which we have done but uh, we're just hovering uh pretty much on the delta time pretty much from the previous lap so at the moment it's touch and go whether we're actually going to be able to improve on this uh, previous lap but uh, coming up to the end of sector two we are still up on our previous time so it's looking okay but we're still a long way off of Verstappen's time uh, so this isn't going to be a, a well beater of lap to be honest so coming through onto the back straight now this is just a straight a hairpin and a corner uh, pretty much to end the lap so we need to get uh, the fastest possible uh, car for this straight and if, if we can we may be able to get gain a couple of places uh, previous to our uh, last lap so come around the last corner there well last happened and then before we get to the final corner we should be able to improve slightly whether it actually uh, puts us up at all it'll be remains to be seen but we're down in p8 at the moment but we're going to cross the line and it's going to put us back into p7 so uh yeah we yeah did a bit disappointed with that as the engineer just said there uh but uh, yeah, we're going to have to take that going into the race and uh, anything can happen as well. Uh, but Verstappen doing exactly what he needs to do and uh, Devin Butler as well. He's not had the best of starts to the season after uh, what happened in uh, Bahrain which didn't particularly help him too much. Lando Norris uh, is nowhere to be seen. Well, actually he's down in P11. So again, is Norris's uh, qualifying woes still haunting him from last season? It looks like that. It you know, possibly is. But there we go. Uh, let's head into the race then for the third round of season three and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good one um hopefully we can improve from p7 on the grid and uh, get onto the podium again uh, but well it's going to be a difficult one because we aren't as strong here as we would have hoped to be um at a track that i prefer to bahrain as well so let's have a look at the grid all event for the bar uh, chinese grand prix uh, of course for stappen lining up on pole alongside the claire who's actually done all right in qualifying ferrari seem to be a little bit stronger now at the start of the season butler though had a bottas and hamilton only in p5 vettel p6 myself ahead of weber in p8 and then Ricardo signed to doing very well for the Renault team. Norris ahead of Albon. Stroll struggling. Magnussen. And then Fiat and Russell. Perez having a difficult day. Gasly, Hulkenberg and Giovinazzi a long way off his teammate as well. So uh, interesting there at the back of the grid. Uh, but now looking further forward at the top half of the grid. Uh, it's a perfect chance to get a good start here. Uh, heading into turn one and turn two. It's all going to close up. But here we go. On the start of this race, we're going to find out how it goes. We've got a poor start, though, and uh, Weber's basically just caught past us almost immediately. We're going into turn one. We're going to dive around the outside of all these guys, trying to get around Weber again. Now looking to get around Vettel as well as we do. Now we've got the inside line into turn three and uh, getting past Sebastian Vettel as uh, he's on the outside of us, but he's going to, going to force him out wide, and that's cost Vettel a little bit as well. So Weber now on the attack as well as we head towards the hairpin, and, uh, yeah, he's not going to get past there, I'm afraid. And uh, yeah, run a little bit deep again into the hairpin. Uh, seems to be a bit of a problem area. Yellow flags, but it's uh, just for the cars bunching up, which makes it look like everyone's going really slowly, but it's just a non-central yellow flag there. 
Uh, we're now following through. We've actually got um, up to P6. We've gained one position off the start. You can see Verstappen leading the way up front ahead of Devon Butler and Leclerc and two Mercedes as well. So for some reason, the two Mercedes are going to be a little bit surprised about where they are. Normally, last season, we saw, oh, it's the Mercedes front row lockout again. And, uh, but now they're only down in P, well, P4 and P5. So, uh, yeah, they got their workout out this season. Bottas currently uh, up there with Norris at the top of the championship. But he's basically had, um, uh, well, no, no problem so far this season. Hamilton has had pl plenty of issues. He had the front wing break in, in the last uh, race, uh, thanks to the incident that I pretty much caused, uh, which forced him to pit. And then in Australia, of course, he retired with an engine problem. So... Um, yeah, Hamilton's had pretty much no luck so far this season, the defending champion. Um, but Bottas, uh, he's pretty, been pretty lucky, to be fair. Um, with Australia, uh, myself and Hamilton um, having a, a issues on lap 13, which led Bottas to get onto the podium. Otherwise, he would have been a little bit further back and uh, wouldn't have actually been on the podium anyway, I don't think. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but Bottas is uh, got to kind of take uh, any luck you can get on in Formula 1 and that's what he's done so uh, Norris as well he's been quite lucky as well in, in Bahrain he managed to get a, a pretty much unexpected podium he was pretty much off the pace like he was uh, around this track as well so uh, yeah he's still leading the championship by default pretty much um, everyone else is tripping tripping over each other in the first couple of races of the season Verstappen has not really impressed too much either so far he had a difficult race in Australia um, but yeah now back to China we've got Sergio or, uh, Lucas Weber now trying to make a move on us into the next corner um, but again we defend um, and keep him behind us so yeah we're looking to have to do more defending than attacking at the moment which is not our priority um, we're trying to get towards the uh, top five here uh, but Lucas Weber uh, put an opportunistic move into us uh, but there's yellow flags now and Weber looking to get past this again but there's yellow flags and it's Valtteri Bottas so Mercedes reliability is uh, definitely their Achilles heel at the moment. So Valtteri Bottas is out of the race and uh, going into the hairpin. There's contact and there's Sebastian Vettel losing a bit of front wing there. Uh, he came out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much why he lost a bit of front wing. Because um, I, I did not expect Sebastian Vettel to uh, try and make a move on me there. And uh, yeah, well, there you go. And Lucas Weber still chasing us. But virtual safety car has just come out. So that came out a bit late. That was a very late call. And here is... The engine going from Valtteri Bottas. You can see it just on the main straight or the back straight there. Hamilton uh, getting past. Everyone getting past. So uh, he's, uh, well, pretty much on the racing line there. So everyone having to get off the racing line to overtake him uh, as they do. And uh, a disaster for Valtteri Bottas who uh, could have taken the lead in the championship there with uh, Lando Norris having a difficult day. But now a virtual safety car ending uh, just a couple of corners later really. And uh, yeah, now back to the race in P5 then. So... Uh, P5 I think is our objective at the moment um, with the current uh, contract that we've got so at the moment the Red Bull team will be happy with where we are uh, but for Sappen leading the, leading the way uh, is going to probably get Red Bull's first win at the moment if it stays like it is um, but uh, you can see just ahead of us Devin Butler and Leclerc is actually holding up Hamilton as well so uh, yeah we're not being able to really catch up with these guys so uh, at the moment, it's uh, pretty much going to be a, a deadlock race at the moment, unless we can somehow find some pace. But at the moment, it's just not happening for us. But Lucas Weber is uh, f finds some pace from somewhere, and he needs those points as well. And he gets up into P5, but we're going to try and outbreak him into the hairpin, which we do, and uh, just about manage to keep hold of that position as well. So uh, Weber really on on it at the moment, and uh, we're just doing everything we can to defend from him and trying to keep hold of that P5. But uh, Lucas Weber getting that pace in the Alfa Romeo uh, which has sort of been missing recently and uh, yeah man, trying to get some points for Alfa Romeo who've uh, had a very poor start to the season but running wide into the first corner Lucas Weber trying to dive down the inside of us make a bit of contact there and there's a bit of yellow flag as well that comes out as well so Weber having a, sort of a, a slight spin there uh, but yeah that was contact and uh, yeah he, he sort of ran wide into us as well so yeah, there you go. Uh, a little bit of contact with our former F2 teammate. And you can see now Hamilton fighting with Lucas Weber, uh, uh, Devon Butler, rather, a rather F2 rival there. And so Leclerc has managed to get up into second by the looks of it. Uh, but Devon Butler having to defend from Hamilton. So if we can uh, take the opportunity to close in on these guys and perhaps catch up, uh, this could perhaps help our race. But we're due to be pitting at the end of this lap. So uh, these tyres haven't really lasted too long. 
and uh, Lucas Weber now again right on us. So uh, it looks like Leclerc still within DRS of Devon Butler though. So Butler going to be able to defend with DRS and uh, Hamilton still going to be in DRS zone as well. So they're going to be pulling away on this straight. We're going to have to defend from Lucas Weber still, uh, but we're going to be pitting at the end of the uh, under this lap. So that's going to be our priority. And uh, Weber still chasing after us, uh, trying to get past us, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So coming around this hairpin, we're going to be going in straight on and uh, go, then turning, uh, turning left into the pit lane where we'll be making that pit stop and be putting on the medium tyres and trying to see if we can get an undercut perhaps. But, you know, we haven't been able to be too strong with these un undercuts on this game. Uh, so it's going to be pretty much trying to keep hold of that position. Um, but, yeah, here we go. Into the pits we go. And we're going to be the first pit person to be pitting, actually. And uh, the only person to be pitting on this lap. So uh, down into P19 and it's a fairly decent pit stop of 1.8, but it's a little bit late... Uh, actually exiting the pit box but uh, we'll see how it goes then on this out lap and uh, see if we can actually make any ground on Hamilton and uh, Leclerc and Butler as well so out the pits we go then and uh, we'll be trying to catch up with uh, Hamilton uh, but moving on to the next lap and uh, now they've actually come out of the pits and uh, moving there you can see Lucas Weber almost getting past us but we managed to keep hold of that, hold of that position and now Hamilton's our next target and we almost died down the inside of there Hamilton but he closes the door and rather probably you'd expect him to close the door there he were a long way back and uh, that was very opportunistic but Hamilton not having any of it uh, but now we're cl very close to Hamilton so we've gained a lot of time there on Hamilton diving down the inside of the ha Hamilton into the hairpin uh, out breaking ourselves there Hamilton keep retakes the position and uh, now we're going to try and put some pressure on Hamilton uh, but yeah there you go Hamilton's got an issue as our engineer just said when well, drive clean around the outside of him there, and uh, we definitely would have been wouldn't have been able to do that if his car was working on all cylinders. So Hamilton's got an issue, and uh, for uh, again, Hamilton's got some problem in this race, which is going to cost him points, as you can see. Now Lucas Weber's dealt with him already, so uh, I don't know what has happened to Hamilton in this race. Uh, Hamilton in this season, Mercedes in this season, even because uh, Mercedes have just got some reliability issues. Uh, they well, they've just it's three races now that they've had problems. And uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Hamilton's going to be tumbling down the order then um, for the next couple of laps. Uh, so it'll be a surprise to see him actually get any points at this rate. But further ahead, we're now up to a net P4. Uh, so we're gonna, it looks like we're going to be finishing P4 three times in a row, which I think Weber did finish fourth like four or five times in a row in 2012. Um, but yeah, uh, we don't want to repeat that. We want to get on that podium and uh, now is a perfect chance to get onto the podium you can see Leclerc and Butler fighting wheel to wheel as we head into turn one and we're closing up on these guys now uh, maybe it's the uh, soft tyres that were just not helping us too much these mediums so we seem to be in line with Leclerc and Butler's uh, pace but Leclerc is on hard tyres so uh, for some reason he's gone for the hard tyres maybe he's got some tyre issues maybe that's the only ones available but um, yeah we're closing on these guys now and we should be quicker than Leclerc on those hard to tyres uh, but uh, you, you can see Butler's managed to get past Leclerc again so I don't know why Leclerc's on the hard tyres uh, but we're going to try and try everyone we can to get onto that podium and uh, take hold of P3 or P2 uh, which is uh, where we're going to be uh, at the moment uh, but yeah Leclerc is um, well starting to fall back a little bit from Butler it looks like so now here's our chance to try and get close to Leclerc and potentially take away a P3 and get onto that podium for the first time this season, hopefully. Um, <laughs> because, uh, well, we, we should have been on the podium in the last two races, of course, but um, we've got to try and put that right in this race and get onto that podium and, uh, yeah, really put some pressure onto the top two guys and, uh, well, hopefully we'll be close to leading the championship at some point. Um, but I think, actually, we're 15 points down on... Well, 16 points down on um, but uh, Bottas and then uh, 17 on uh, Norris. So 18 points is what we would love to get. That will put us actually ahead of Bottas, um, but 15 points would put us just behind. So if we uh, a P2 would be a, a good result, really, and that's what we're going to try and get. But now, look how close we are to Charles Leclerc as we go through Turn 1 uh, onto lap 8 of this race. Uh, very close down to Charles Leclerc. Can we get past him? Um, will we have to wait until DRS? Can we make that move before? Are we going to be able to get close enough to Devon Butler, who looks like he's starting to eke away now? So uh, we need to get this move done on Charles Leclerc if we want to get P2 as well. Because Devon Butler's starting to 
pull away from Charles Leclerc. Of course, I think the Devon Butler's on the medium tyres, which is probably helping him, uh, where Leclerc is not helping him being on the hard tyre. So uh, if we can get past Leclerc immediately, that would be helpful. So come through the next couple of corners then. And, uh, well, it looks like they fixed the pro problem with Hamilton's Mercedes there. So he'll be back on it. But I think he's uh, a long way down the order. He's behind, actually, Carlos Sainz on the mini-map as well. So that Renault, you can see going through the straight we've just been on, is ahead of Lewis Hamilton. So Hamilton down in about P8, P9 at the moment. Uh, so that's cost him a lot of time and uh, a lot of points as well, so where he could be in the same fight with us right now, uh, but he is not. But here we go. We've got DRS on the Leclerc for the first time. Are we going to be able to make the move on Charles Leclerc? We go to the outside. He goes to the inside. Can we make the move? We try and break as late as possible. He breaks as late as possible. We round the outside and we take hold of P3 with a nice move on Charles Leclerc there as uh, now we can focus on Devon Butler as we move on to lap 9 and uh, Charles Leclerc still going to have DRS though on us but can we get catch up Devon Butler he's 1.2 second clear of us so we just need to gain a couple of tenths of a second on this lap and we'll be within DRS of Devon Butler so hopefully we can catch up with Devon Butler and then overtake him and that will put us into P2 uh, but moving on to lap 12 though uh, it hasn't happened for us and uh, we're having to defend from Charles Leclerc still so we haven't really found any pace to catch up with Devon Butler and now Charles Leclerc is still behind us so uh, at the moment we're trying to defend our podium from Leclerc we haven't actually found any pace and Leclerc's managed to stick with us since we've got past him which was a bit of a surprise we had some good pace then but um, whatever reason we've lost it again Leclerc's found some more pace and you can see just behind as well Lucas Weber closing in on us as well so uh, having to defend then from Charles Leclerc and trying to keep hold of P3 and uh, yeah it's going to be a very difficult last few laps of this race for ourselves if we want to keep hold of P3 uh, Leclerc is still well we, we can see we're actually understeering a bit through these corners Leclerc looking very interested surely he's going to have DRS next lap or next uh, next straight I should say and uh, yeah we're locking up again so uh, all over the place at the moment we are and uh, Leclerc still trying get past us which he should be able to get very close now on this straight is he going to be able to get the move done surely he is with DRS assistance he's going to be we're going to be a sitting duck for Leclerc I'm going to turn the engine up to hot mode though hot lap mode and he's well just about getting alongside us so we force him to the outside we're going to try and out break him into the hairpin to keep hold of that position on the inside and uh, yeah we do keep hold of that position now up into P3 then or back into P3 and uh, we've got two laps left to go to try and defend this podium position uh, which will be our first podium of the season uh, so far. But well, just two laps to go. Verstappen out in uh, out, in, out, out, out front, and uh, he's going to have the win today uh, by looks of it, unless there's any problems with his car uh, in the last couple of laps. And Butler's going to have P2, and uh, we're going to try and keep all the P3. But Leclerc and Lucas Weber now, who's managed to catch up to this battle, uh, is very interested in that uh, podium as well. Uh, with uh, Lucas Weber very interested in trying to keep hold of that, uh, well, trying to get that podium too to kickstart his season and now for Romeo season as well, uh, who've had a very disappointing start to the season. But uh, yeah, now we've just got one and a half laps to go, and uh, the main overtaking spot, of course, is going to be on the back straight into the hairpin, uh, maybe into turn one as well if they can get get a move there. But it's uh, not the easiest place to overtake into turn one, uh, given it's quite a fast entrance into that corner as well. But Leclerc perhaps trying to make a move here almost as he tr looks to almost go down the inside into that corner but thinks about DRS and now he's going to have DRS activated but so is Lucas Weber he's going to have DRS too and that's going to help him out as well so we could be down to P5 by the end of this straight if we're unfortunate but here you go Lu Leclerc looking to close in but Weber a little bit further back so uh, Weber not going to be able to make the move on this lap Le Leclerc is past us can we outbreak him or is it too late we dive down the inside and we're going to have the inside line still. He leaves us the room, uh, which is very respectful to Leclerc uh, for that. But now, coming around the last corner to start the last lap of this race, can we keep hold of P3? Or is Leclerc going to be able to take away from us? Or is Lucas Weber going to be able to take away from us? Um, but at the moment, into turn one, that's one overtaking spot we've lost out on, or they've lost out on, uh, trying to get past us. But if we run wide, we've pretty much given them an open invitation to get past us there. Uh, but Leclerc doesn't take that invitation and uh, now here's another slight overtaking place into this happen too uh, if they're close enough uh, as we've seen many times in real life it's a good overtaking spot but not for Leclerc this time around so if he's going to get the job done it's going to be on the back straight now 
Uh, so you've got to go through these fast few corners where he's not going to be able to overtake us unless he pulls off some hell of a move, which is unlikely from the AI. But again, running wide, you can see for whatever reason, these tyres just aren't ripping to the track for us. So coming round at the next few corners, we really need to keep hold of this P3 and it'll be a very good way to start, well, basically kickstart the season for ourselves. Red Bull are going to get a good haul of points here, but will we get beyond the podium? We'll, uh, we've just got one straight here to find out whether we can get onto that podium. Uh, we get a decent exit out of that, um, well, fast right-hander, but Leclerc, look how fast he's going now. Surely he's going to get past us, and he's got past us before DRS pretty much there, and now we're going to have to tuck in behind him on that slipstream. Can we get past him? You can see Leclerc is past us. We dive back down to the inside to retake P3. Leclerc, well, outbreaking us ourselves slightly, but Leclerc can't make it past us. We're going to go round the last corner now, and we're going to finish in P3 in this race, just about defending that position from Charles Leclerc to be crossed the line, and it's P3 for ourselves. Leclerc P4, and Weber P5, who could not make any hay uh, headway on that last couple of laps. It was just myself and Leclerc, and Weber was pretty much a spectator. And uh, it's going to be a window for Verstappen, so 40 points heading back to Milton Keynes there. And uh, that will boost us in the constructors as well. Uh, McLaren having a, a not so strong day. I don't know where Norris finished in the end. Uh, but Verstappen, that will kickstart his season as well. I'll move him up a long way. Uh, but that will also help us out a lot. I think we're still in P3, if I'm right. And Lando Norris then extending his championship lead by one point um, from uh, uh, Bottas, who failed to score. So Bottas is still only two points off the uh, driver standings. You can see we're three points off of Lando Norris after round three. So there's still plenty of opportunities in the season. We can still be in the hunt for a driver's title here. Uh, but, but Butler as well and Leclerc going up as well so uh, there you can see Hamilton also getting off the mark as well and Lucas Faber so a good race for those guys good result for those guys uh, Stroll as well getting off the mark so uh, yeah Alfa are getting some points Mercedes getting a few points but uh, yeah not as many as they would have liked uh, so you can see Haas the only team yet to score yet Fredo in ninth and Toro Rosso in 8th Alfa will be moving up the order uh, I'd imagine as time goes on, Williams uh, will probably be fading back down and uh, Racing Point will be probably there or thereabouts where they are right now. So that's going to be the end of the episode got there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, just just a quick one. I hope everyone uh, will wish everyone the best at the moment uh, with the coronavirus situation and uh, well, hopefully you all stay safe and everything. So yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon.